Hello, today we will learn about paleontology or paleobiology and about fossils. Paleontology is the study of fossil remains of plants and animals that lived in the past. Fossils are actual remains, traces or impressions left by the organisms that lived in the past and got preserved in the sedimentary rocks. These include bones, teeth, shells and other hard parts of animals or impressions of plants pressed into shale or insects trapped in tree resin. Over the last two centuries, paleontologists have studied fossils in Earth's different strata all over the world and have pieced together the story of past life. The chronological sequence of fossils in the rock strata illustrates the sequence of evolutionary events and has helped in building the broad historical sequence of biological evolution. Study of plant fossils is called paleobotany and of animal fossils paleozoology. Leonardo da Vinci 1452 to 1519 of Italy is called the father of paleontology and Cuvier 1800 is called the founder of the modern paleontology. Fossil records provide the most direct evidence of evolution, whereas all other evidences are indirect. Formation of fossils Fossils are formed in different ways based on the environmental conditions. The fossils may include original remains of the hard parts like bones, teeth, shell, etc. in the sedimentary rocks, petrification of hard and soft parts, carbonized films, molds, that is impressions of organisms in rocks, casts, that is molds filled with foreign material and an actual remains in peat, amber, asphalt and ice. The land animals may also get fossilized in amber, that is hardened resin, asphalt, hardened tar, volcanic ash, peat bogs and sand deposits or in ice. Now let's see the types of fossils. Fossils are of following types. Unaltered remains of entire organisms. Petrified fossils that is altered fossils. Molds and casts. Prints or impressions. Tracks and frails. Coprolites. Let's learn about them one by one. First is unaltered remains of entire organisms. Under exceptionally favorable conditions, the entire animal body gets preserved in ice, petroleum spring, asphalt, resin, amber and oil soaked ground. Woolly mammoths from Siberia in Arctic tundra remain preserved in ice for thousands of years. Actually, this area is described as nature's cold storage or warehouse. Next is petrified fossils that is altered fossils. 
petrified fossils are formed by the replacement of organic parts of dead and decaying organisms molecule by molecule by minerals the process is called petrification petrified fossils are formed in the sedimentary rocks on the bottom of lakes rivers or sea when animals or plants or their parts get buried in the sediment the process of petrification successfully preserve the hard parts under very favorable conditions even the finest details or soft tissues like muscles or other organs are also preserved by the replacement of their organic material with minerals let's learn about some important points amber amber is hardened resin a number of insects and arthropods are found preserved in the amber deposits of oligocene epoch from middle tertiary period along baltic coast asphalt asphalt it is found in the tar pits of rancho la bera in los angeles california it has preserved a number of birds and mammals oil soaked ground oil soaked ground in poland has remains of complete woolly rhinoceros now let's learn about pseudomorphs and pseudofossils pseudomorphs are the casts of bodies of individuals that lived in the past these are formed when the remains of living beings embedded in sedimentary rocks are completely dissolved by infiltrating water and the space so created is secondarily filled with crystals forming their casts pseudo fossils are not fossils sometimes igneous rocks formed of minerals develop crevices their mineral substances crystallize and develop into patterns that resemble outlines of plants their leaves etc such rocks which are actually without plant remains but appear so are called pseudo fossils